So, once again, my video cut out before I was done because my camera's battery died on me again. So I'm going to try to finish this vlog here. Um, what I was saying about Hogfather is that just Terry has this amazing ability of making you think that you're just reading a frothy, fun, lighthearted story. And you are! I mean, you are reading a fun story. It's a great page turner. Characters are funny and, you know, it's just, it's really entertaining. But then when you get to the end, you realize that there were some huge messages in that story. And I think Hogfather is one of his best, because it really has a real pow at the end of it. Um, I think of my, my favorite characters in Terry's books. First in my affections is Death, okay, the Grim Reaper. Because Terry does such a great job of making him so human. I mean, yeah, he still doesn't understand humans, and he still tries to emulate humans, and, like, he has a house with hairbrushes and toilets and, you know, kitchens and things that he doesn't need, that he'll never need, but he has them because humans have them, and he's trying to understand human nature. But the thing about death is that he's a lot more human than he realizes because being around humanity for so long, it's kind of rubbed off on him, and he's learned about, you know, what makes people tick, you know, what really drives humans. And it allows death to be extremely deep and extremely observant and philosophical. And yet at the same time, it makes him really relatable. He's funny. He's, you know, got a very deadpan sense of humor, pardon the pun. But he's just, he's very relatable. And I really like death a lot. And I hope that if there is some embodiment of death that meets us, when we die. I hope it's like Terry's death because I'd really like to have a conversation with him. Uh, I really like the books that feature The Watch, Sam Vimes, and Captain Carrot. Fifth Elephant is probably my favorite of The Watch books, in large part because it also takes place in Uberwald, which is uh, Terry's Discworld version of Transylvania. So there's lots of werewolves and vampires and stuff. Fifth Elephant is great because it's about diplomacy and politics and the need to have a real sort of justice. And it's just, it's a really good book. Um, I really love the books that feature the witches. I really like Esme Weatherwax and Nanny Ogg's just a hoot. And I really like Carpe Jugulum because it's one that features the witches and it also features vampires. And it's a great book because Terry takes all of the the standard cliches of horror and vampire mythology, and he just, he rips them apart in such a great way, and he just, it's so funny. Um, the first Terry Pratchett book I ever read was Lords and, Lady Lords and Ladies, which was another witch's book. And my mom got it for me from a library book sale, and... It was in the middle of the series, and they referenced some things that had happened before, and I didn't really understand that bit, but for the most part, I really loved the book, because with Terry, he has this amazing ability of writing all these books that are connected. They're all in a series. They feature recurring characters, and sometimes they reference things that have happened or, you know, have recurring themes and jokes in them, but the great thing about it is that he writes in such a self-contained way that you can start anywhere in the series. And you can just become immersed, because each one of the books just stands alone so well on their own. And I really love Terry Pratchett because he makes it seem so effortless. He gets up every morning and he writes 100 pages in a day before he'll let himself stop writing. And that sort of work ethic and, de and dedication is just so impressive. I wish I had that much of a drive. And it's meant that he's been very prolific. He's written dozens and dozens of books. He got his first book published when he was 15. Well, his first story was published when he was 15. And I'm just, I'm so in awe of him because I think he's just one of the best writers that there's ever been because he writes these stories that are extremely entertaining. You can, you know, just run through the books at a breakneck speed because they're just so much, they're so fun and they're so lighthearted. And yet at the same time, he really instills heavy messages and philosophical thoughts and things that stick with you, things that you think about later. And it's just incredible. I wish that I had that ability. I wish I had that talent. And when he was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's recently, 
I have to admit, I, I cried. I, I felt like a part of me was crushed because Alzheimer's is a terrible disease to happen to anybody. I mean, everyone knows that. But for someone like Terry, someone who is a writer and has to really rely on their wit and their memories and their imagination and their intellect to, you know, create, to do what, what makes them happy, and then to have a disease come along that slowly takes away all of that from them, it's just, it's crushing. It, it really hurts. And I really hope that he can get several more books out and that all of his experimental treatments work and that all of the research and funding and emphasis that he's been putting on raising awareness about the disease and, and research in, about, into the disease, I really hope that it works because I just... Terry Pratchett's amazing and I love him and I'm getting all wibbly like I said I was going to. So... I think I'm going to have to stop there, but I will say this, I was really glad when he got knighted, when he became a sir, because, I mean, he really deserves it. He's, his contributions to the literary world is just amazing, and I think it really sums up the sort of person Terry is, because after he was knighted, an interviewer asked him, well, how does it feel to be, you know, a sir, how does it feel to be Sir Terry Pratchett? And he said, well, it doesn't feel any different, really. And when I get up in the morning, I look at my wife and I say to her, you don't look like a lady. And I just, I love Terry Pratchett, man. He's funny and he's inspiring and he's deep and he's just a master at what he does. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Apologies for being all wibbly and for clumped and stuff, but that's how much Terry Pratchett means to me. If you've never read his books before, Go pick up a copy. Start anywhere. Start with the witches. Start with the watch. Start with the wizards. Start with death, you know? Because he's just, he's a treasure. Terry Pratchett is. So, hope you guys have a good night. Hope you've enjoyed my vlog. Check you later.